Welcome back. So ladies, let's chat. Whether we like it or not, we're all playing a role of sorts. And Stacey, you seem to think it might have caused some sort of identity crisis for women. Yes, I've been, as I was sharing with you guys in the green room, I've been talking to a number of women and we have so many roles. I like my, I'm using myself real quick. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm an executive, I'm a mentor, I'm a public uh, servant, I have a job, Super I'm a woman. teacher, I have, I mean, huh. a daughter, all those things. And in talking to women, Madison and Jess, and what they're saying to me is, I'm pissed off because I've been, my identity is caught up in being wife and mother and all those things and not celebrating who I am as a woman. And I think that happens. We put that, we get caught up in everything that we do. And mm -hmm. what we do does not define who we are. And that's, I think that's- Do you find yourself gonna, caught up in that, Madison? No, I don't. Okay. And sometimes I find comfort in, the, in, the, in it. Um, I find comfort in knowing that I can identify myself with I am a mom. Okay. And it makes me feel stronger. Okay. And it helps me to guide me and helps, helps me make choices based on that role but, and based on that identity. But to your point though, Madison, can you though see that a person may feel that I am all these people, these mm -hmm. I'm these roles, but I'm not, that's not who I am. That's not Madison. That's not Madison. But Could I, you be hiding in those roles? But I feel, like, I feel like all those roles are an extension of who I am. That all of those roles make me who I am because I wouldn't be those roles if that's not who I wanted to be. So where someone might start feeling resentful about the roles that they're playing, well, they put, they're playing those roles for a reason. And they, they, put, they don't have to continue to play that role. They can let go of that role at any time. Well, what's interesting though is role. I think that a, a lot of us are assumed that we are a certain role. You know, mm -hmm. people look at me, this tall blonde, and then they, you know, I have to play this role in their head. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of people thinking that I'm, you know, right. less intelligent or flaky or Hollywood or you're so LA. No, I'm so Jasmine Moye and there's a lot of more layers. Mm -hmm. That's the main role I'm right. playing beyond being a daughter, sister, friend, etc. I'm trying to play this role of what is my best self in fighting against what everybody else thinks well, about Well, it sounds me. like what you're fighting against is a stereotype. Oh, for sure. You, have some, you fight stereotypes. Absolutely. But, but to your point, and you're correct, you're right. Those roles that I identify with myself are extension of who I am. Mm -hmm. but they are they don't define me because as we know roles change so the mother that I am today is not the mother I was when my babies were toddlers and not the mother I'm gonna be when I have grown right. children. right but you pl you play those roles but you also define what those roles mean I, I do mm -hmm. but at the end of the day before I had all those titles I think what the women are saying to me states is before I have all those titles I am a woman right but before they had all those titles they were kids <laughs> well, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? I, I see where you're going with this. How do you maintain that role of I am Stacy? I am a woman. Or well, can you? I just got it. To be honest with you, I just <laughs> really got it. And I'm throwing some people for a loop because they're like, wow, Stace. Like, I didn't know. Right? And what do you that, mean? Wow, well, Stacy, I didn't know. It's to that point. Because I was hiding behind so many things, I hid behind being a great wife. I hid behind being a great mom. But how are you me. hiding then? Because to me, those don't sound like things you hide behind. Yes, those sound like oh, things most that definitely you, you can. What, if you don't deal with something that's going on with you, you will overcompensate and live vicariously through your children and your spouse. Or but those, now yeah, today, those roles. I don't have a problem saying, you know what? Mama is not cooking tonight. Everybody work for themselves. I'm going to sleep. But isn't that, that also home? being isn't that also being a great mom? Isn't it teaching them to go, hey, sometimes you have to take care of yourself first. And I'm doing it for me. I'm being the example for you. It I don't, could be. I don't know no, if because if, if I, Madison, if I was very uncomfortable who I am, mm -hmm. and, I, and I was, so having my children, you know, know that I'm there, pick them up from school, making sure that I cook, making sure everything was in line was important to me because I was in chaos. And that's something that I could control. Now, and what I'm telling our viewers is, your roles are gonna change, your life is gonna expand. Yeah. And, and that's when you okay. become in control with yourself, it's okay for a parent to say, you know what, I don't like my kid today. Well, it doesn't make you a bad mom. <laughs> no, but it doesn't know, make you a bad mom. It makes you an honest, authentic Absolutely. person. That's interesting too because it's, I'm finally at a I've point in my moments. life, growing up, and, you know, at, nearing the end of my 20s, I'm finally being okay with that. I am not who I was when I was 21. I don't want the same things I wanted when I was 23. 
and those rules are changing and I have to be okay with that. Yes, they, yeah. they evolve. It's okay for me. I've been married almost 23 years and today I'm uncomfortable with telling my husband, uh-uh, I'm cool. uh -uh -uh. this is not working for me, right? Mm -hmm. I've evolved mm -hmm. because I'm comfortable with me and I don't think that he's going to leave me. Right? right? I wouldn't say things before because I was uncomfortable. Oh, I shouldn't say that. A wife doesn't say that. No, a man that loves a woman, a woman loves a man. They're honest in their communication. Communication. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about as the roles evolve. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live your role, lady. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more Everyway Woman. After this commercial break, more Everyway Woman.